Welcome back. I'm going to call this uh, centering the tailstock part two or recentering the tailstock. I released the video on, on how I centered the tailstock and it probably wasn't the best way to do it. I'm, I'm quite sure I used a shim. I fuddled around with the, the, sh the grub screws and went back and forth. And in the end, I, what I did, I, I, I centered it to the chuck as the chuck was mounted. I just mounted the chuck. I didn't do anything to the chuck. Um, a, a viewer, a commenter by the name of Dennis made a very good point. He said that I made a crucial mistake and I totally agree with him. He said that I assumed that the chuck jaws were closed perfectly on center and I did. Um, and they don't. So the way that I centered it, you know, I just would mount my live, I used the live center, but I mounted the center and I just put it up to the, the chuck jaws, assuming that all three jaws, <clears throat> excuse me, come together perfectly. So he had a great suggestion. He said, put your dead center in, get it to run concentrically, and then you bring your, your tail stock up and, and you bring it up and, and, and center it that way. Since then, I've had a couple other great suggestions. I'll tell you, I really am enjoying the feedback I'm getting from the commenters. Um, it's great advice. Everybody's in good spirits. There's nobody making fun of me. I hope nobody does. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing this as a hobby. I am an amateur. I did not grow up in a machine shop. My dad was a machinist by trade, but I didn't work with him. I was a child. He, it was a factory setting. I couldn't, I couldn't go up there. I'm extremely interested in this. It's a, it's an escape from my day job. And I, I love the craft. I love the, the uh, talent that everybody has being able to make such precision, um, uh, precision parts and custom parts for machinery using these tools and, and these, these simple techniques. They're not, that's not right. They're not simple techniques, but once you get the basics, I think you can make quite a few complex parts for machines. So, I'm really enjoying the feedback. Thank you guys for uh, commenting and giving me suggestions. There were two additional suggestions I wanna point out. Um, again, this is gonna be just an addendum to the last video. So hopefully it's not too long. I, I, I think everybody should reach out, be open-minded to, uh, to other people's ideas. There's a lot of smarter people than you out there. I don't care what you're smart in. Whatever it is, there's always somebody smarter. Open your minds listen to them. There are people that have knowledge that you want to learn from, you want to share. Too many people are just too quick to, to dismiss that, that kind of criticism. It's not even criticism, but they take it as criticism. So thank you guys for the feedback. Um, a couple other, I do want to note out, uh, HM replied, remove the chuck entirely and center to the spindle bore. And then there's some techniques you can use uh, like brass shims, to make sure that they're perfectly perpendicular. Um, and there's different techniques you can use to do this. That's the interesting thing. There's not one right way to do this. There's probably a wrong way to do it, and that's the way I did it in the first, in the previous video. But uh, it did get it close enough for what I'm gonna do, but I did want it to do a, a, su a supplementary video to just share some of the ideas that, that these commenters have I mean, these are people that work in the trades. They, listen to them. They know what they're talking about. Uh, one final person, Al, he had a great idea. It's, it's, it's not even complicated. He said, put in some material in your chuck and turn it down. Make yourself your own dead center. So turn it down to a point and then center your tailstock to that. And then, boom, you have, you have a, a turned down dead center that's going to be centered with your jaws, the way that they are manufactured and the way that this came, the way that it's mounted, and then your tail stock will be centered to that once you bring it up and you center it to that new piece you machined. You don't take it out, you, you machine it and leave it in there and then you bring the machines in, the parts in. So I, I'm not gonna cover all, I don't want this to be a long video. I'm not gonna cover every one of those, but I do wanna mention those. There's several different techniques. Find the forums, reach out to these guys, there are people out there that want to help. There's people out there that, that 
did this by trade and they just love the craft. Thank you guys for commenting. I'm going to take Dennis's suggestion and, and I'm just going to see how close I was when I centered the tailstock. Um, I, I want to know how far my run out is on my tailstock compared to um, just centering it up to the, the chuck as I mounted it. That was a very good point. I did make a crucial mistake. Thank you for pointing that out. So what we're going to do, I did get a uh, dial indicator. This is not the best quality one, but it exists and I have it. Let's uh, get that pretty close to zero. And we're gonna test the run out on this dead center. I'm gonna have to tap it and just get it centered. And then we'll bring the, the tailstock up and just see how close we are and how close I was with my original method, which was flawed. So let's turn this out. So we're about a zero right now. And that looks five, six, six one way. 10, 15, so that's our high spot right there, about 15 thou out that way. I'm just gonna tap it a little bit, and we'll come back, so we're back out that way. Now we're way out. I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I know you can tap these and get these, uh, Get these much closer there we go so what you're trying to do is get the the difference between the two so we're at 25 bring this around and we're at 19 so what I want to do is bring this closer to zero or five we'll see how that did okay we're Okay, we're less than 10 thou out. Let's, uh, there's our high spot. Let's tap this just a little bit. Probably should've went the other way. No, and now I wanna, okay. See how close we are now. Eight, nine thou out. Mm, this it's easier said than done, um, that's for sure. back to about 10 thou out. Let's try to bring this up to five. So we're about two thou out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this any better, but I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a knock. Again, you don't want to use uh, metal. You just want to kind of use a... Let's see what we got there. Let's bring this back to zero. Okay, we'll call that... That's close enough for what we're doing. Bring this back around. That's a thou out a thou and a quarter if you're staring over this thing like I am so there is low spot there's our I'll call that our high spot we'll try okay let's see where we are that's about a half a thou I don't know if you can see it half a thou three quarter of a thou so that's pretty good right there for what I'm doing. I'm not, I am looking for somewhat precision. That's what I want to do here. I want to learn the trade and, and do it right. But right now I'm still learning the concepts and the, some of the tricks from uh, all of you out there who are commenting. 
like I said, I can't thank you enough. I appreciate that. Let's uh, let's get this out of the way. Um, I want to tighten this up so that it doesn't move. Actually, I'm going to tighten it up and then we'll test it again. Make sure it didn't move because I know that can happen. And we are, we did move. So we moved about four. There's our low spot. Let's go back to our high spot. Let's tap that. I want to fix that. Well, that doesn't help moving it Get over here. Again, this is, I'm still learning. I'm new to this, so bear with me. All right, we're at zero, two, three thou. All right, let's, let's bring it back to zero. We're going to tap it from this side. Yeah, I got that backwards. That's too far. But we're... I did tighten it down so it's a little bit tighter. All right. One, two, and two, the three the other way. I'll get it one of these days. Our high. too far. There's our high. Let's bring it in a little. So there, we're about two thou swing. Three. Tap that a little bit. Let's see how we are now. Getting there. We're really close. Kind of embarrassing watching somebody do this. This is not a skill that I have. It's an interesting process though. There we go, we're getting close. I think you get the idea, I'm gonna bring you back when I have this centered, and then we'll continue this on. Again, this is this video is really a supplementary video to the last one. I, would, I just want to share some other ideas, some better ideas on what I did to center this up. I'll bring you back. All right, I brought you back because we're as close as I'm going to make it for this video, and I just wanted to share it, show you that I have this within one thou of it being centered accord of, according to this dial indicator from, you guessed it, Harbor Freight. I'm gonna get this dial indicator out of here. Let's bring the tailstock up. And let's just see how close I did on the last centering. Um, it's either gonna be a win or a fail, but regardless, for the purpose of this video, I just wanna see how I did. And just to let you know that there are many techniques out there. Let's get this out of the way. There's a lot of different techniques to, to uh, accomplish these tasks. Um, I'm going to have to bring this in to make room for get that there for the tailstock. All right. Now I'm going to, let's just bring you out of the mount here. Sorry about that. Okay. So there we go. You saw that it was one within, within one thou. So what we're going to do is just visually inspect. I know there's probably better ways to do this. Hopefully I'm not just a monumental failure. If so, it looks like it's off, but we'll see. It's definitely off. Um, I know that I have a bigger 
live center I could use and probably be easier to figure this out. But what I really should do, I'll probably just leave this set up. I think since that is so far off, let's see if I can get this out of the way. If you look there, see that gap there? there that gap does not exist back here. So it's off for sure. So thank you, Dennis, for the the advice. Um, I am gonna play with that a little bit more. I'm gonna do it off camera because you get the point. The whole idea is get out there and mess with these things, learn from it, try to focus, try to uh, figure it out and, and take the advice from the people out there who are, are providing it. They know what they're talking about. Thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I hope to see you on the next video. Again, this is going to be a quick one. I'm going to throw it out there soon just to supplement the video that I just released um, because I think it's important to note there are multiple ways to skin a cat, so to say, so to, so to speak, and listen to people that know what they're doing. Uh, thanks again for all your advice. I'm going to keep working on that off camera and get this thing centered.